Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will cover the tricks of Excel from 51 to 60. The first one is to concatenate. We will concatenate these two columns by means of a dash. So let us start with the practical. So here is the payment number column and I will combine these two columns to make the combined payment number. So I will write CON tab to concatenate. The first entry, the cell address is A2 and I want to uh, concatenate by means of a dash which is in inverted commas then comma and the second cell address B2 and I will press enter and you can see it is written uh, by concatenating and we will click on this and it will concatenate automatically so it is the very easy trick to concatenate the function the second trick is to uh, join the bank account written in three columns uh, by using the AND operator, by using the operator. So we will see here is uh, the ABN number, the account and the check. So what I will do, I will combine all of them. So I will write here is equals to H2 and I will write AND and I2 and after writing I2, I will again write AND and I will write J2 okay and I will press enter and you can see these three entries are combined without a dash so you can concatenate without a dash as well here is the account number and we will see all the account numbers are here in front of us so the third is to extract the text or split the text using the left function we will see this invoice column and extract all the month's name so here is the invoice column and you can see or the paid column you can see every uh, one, one you want and you can see there are month's name written so what we will do we will use the left function so I am writing here left left and the cell address so I will write D2 or C2 I will start from C2 and I want to extract the three characters from the left so left three and I will press enter and you can see here is April and I will click and it will split all around okay so this is good now I will go towards the 54 which is the right function and from the customer purchase order column I will collect the purchase order so here is the customer purchase order column and you can see there are six characters from the right so what I am doing I will write here RIGHT right and in this I will take the six character first of all I am going to give the cell address and I will write six okay so you can see I will press enter the purchase order is selected from the customer purchase order column and you can see all the purchase order are extracted very easily okay now we will move towards our next point that is the fifth six and we will extract the initials of the country name of the city name from the purchase order and it is very easy and you can see I am writing here is equals to med and giving the location G2 but where is the S of Sydney written so you can see you can count P is on 1 O is on 2, dash on is on 3 and S of Sydney is on 4, okay. And I want to extract only one character, so S is only 1 and I will press enter and you can see S is extracted. Now I will click on this and you can see all the first initials are collected easily. Now I am moving towards the 57th and 57th is very important because now in the purchase order, we are going to extract the whole city name in other words the total uh, we will use the length function the total length of the string is always going to be 10 plus from my location what i am saying i am using the combination of mid and length function first of all start with the mid you can see uh, my location is here but instead of the my location name you can see Sydney Melbourne if you 
emit out my location name you can see there is always 10 occurrences of character 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 9 10 so let me do explain these words in other words the total length of the string is always going to be plus 10 and my character my required character so let me do one thing so i am first calculating length length and i am writing g2 sorry g2 and i am subtracting it from 10 because 10 is the unnecessary thing i don't want so you can find 6 okay so let me do some combination thing so what i am doing i am copying this and removing this now i will use the mid function i have just used the mid function in front of you let me increase the size so you can get all the things so i am writing mid and what i am going to do i have to take mid from g2 okay and what where will be the first initial occur so i know that the first initial will always occur at the fourth position you can count one two three four okay so what should be done so i am writing four comma and inside and the third the number of characters to be displayed is the third argument but i am writing the formula of length here this is very interesting and this is very technical see i have written the formula of length here minus 10 and I already explained what is 10. This is all about mathematical techniques to find uh, the correct, uh, the desired word. And you can see Sydney is here and I am going to press this small button and you can see all of the things is done. So what I have done, see it again, the total unnecessary strings or numbers occurred are 10 I have calculated their length and I have used the miss function mid function what is mid function doing it is taking the first occurrence of character and length of g2 minus 10 tell me that how many characters I am going to extract uh, from the data that is Sydney Melbourne Sydney Melbourne the city names okay now I am going towards the 58 58 uh, is about get rid of unknown characters the clean function is designed to remove the first uh, 32 non printing characters in the s s e table okay american standard you know about it so i am going here uh, giving you the practical and here it is uh, e2 column i think and what i will do i will write clean and e2 this is very simple I just write e2 and press enter and you can find there is inverse and I will click and you can find all the inverse column are here in front of you okay and all these unnecessary characters are removed so the 59 is use the trim function you can see when I use the clean function there are some leading spaces means space in the start you can see here there are space in the start so what I have to do let me use this clean function with a trim so i am writing trim trim remove the leading spaces okay so i am writing trim and in the trim i am writing clean clean function which we have just used clean and writing e2 and closing the bracket and pressing enter and now if i will click you can not find any of the leading spaces so maybe uh, i think it's very easy to understand and it's clear for all of you okay and let me remove it and now i am moving towards the last that is substitute function there is a paid amount column and i want to remove what i am going to remove i am going to remove the dollar sign from what i am going to do here i am writing uh, increasing the size of column and writing here substitute and in the substitute what I am going to do I am going towards uh, this column uh, that is F2 and in the F2 I am going to remove this S sign and I want to remove it with nothing means uh, nothing will be printed but the S will be removed and I will press enter you can see it is removed and if I click on this button it is copied so all the 62 tricks you have uh, 60 10 tricks you have studied uh, so far from 51 to 60 concatenate function operator to use concatenation to do concatenation or uh, left function uh, 
uh, right function, mid function, uh, extracting the full names using a mathematical technique, get rid of unknown characters, remove the trailing reading spaces, substitute a dollar or a S sign based on the content and all the things are completed. Thank you.